In today's video, I'll be unboxing and discussing my experience with the Nespresso Virtual Plus. First, I'll show you the setup process, and then I'll discuss my experience and the pros and cons of this machine. Your safety first. All right, we'll look through these because I did read online reviews saying that you gotta prep this machine before you use it. Face. This might be the sample box. Yes. The water tank holds 40 fluid ounces, which is enough to get you through the entire week without having to refill. And also the water tank swivels and can be placed on the left, right, or rear of the machine, which is really awesome for those of us who have limited counter space. You can pretty much put this machine however you need to on your countertops. There is a bit of setup whenever you first go to use this device. You're going to want to fill the water tank, press the button to turn the machine on, which I did not do here correctly, and I was confused as to what you know I was supposed to do. But we eventually figured it out. You're going to place a large container under the spout, and I mean a large container. This cup that I had here was not enough. You're going to press the button three times to rinse the system, and this entire process is going to take about five minutes. The Nespresso Virtuo Plus is a single cup coffee maker that can brew up to four different sizes and create delicious drinks both hot and cold. There are no buttons to select sizes for the cup of coffee you want. Everything is controlled by the size and type of pod that you insert. While the use of pods is extremely convenient, it might also be the reason this machine might not work for everyone. If you're upgrading from a traditional coffee pot, you'll most likely use more than one pot a day. Also, if you drink your coffee with lots of creamer or milk, you might find that your beverage isn't as hot as you would like due to the limited amount of liquid. My machine came with a sample pack so I could try many of the espresso and coffee pods that Nespresso offers. Just a heads up, to purchase pods, you're gonna have to locate your closest Nespresso store or order pods online as they aren't sold at your typical big box stores. Though I was able to buy the Starbucks brand pods for my machine at Target, personally, I enjoy the Nespresso pods far more. Once you've inserted your pod, you'll have to wait for the light to go solid to brew. Sometimes it's near instant, but other times you'll have to wait several seconds for the pod to be recognized. Also, if you change between the espresso, the coffee, and the iced coffee pods, just expect that you're going to have to move that pedestal kind of frequently to be able to brew the different sizes that you want. Overall, you're just going to have to play around and see what you prefer best. For example, the first time I brewed the ice forte, I wish I had more room for milk and cream. I tried again a second time with a bigger glass, and though I had more room for milk and cream, I wanted more ice. So it's just a little bit of practice, but eventually you can make some really wonderful drinks with this machine. <laughs> 